Hi students, today we are going to read Arrow and Officer Mike, which is um, our story of the week. So this is lesson 14. So our essential question this week that we're trying to, um, trying to think about is what are some benefits of dogs interacting with people? So as we read this story, we're going to think about, hmm, what are some good things about dogs and humans working together? So please go ahead and follow along on your journeys book. And this starts on page 505. So please go ahead and pause this video if you don't have your journeys book with you. So that way you can go get it and that you'll be able to follow along. So pause this video until you have your book open to page 505. All right, now that you have your book, let's go ahead and start reading. It is very early in the morning. Everyone in the house is still asleep. A large black and tan German shepherd is lying on the floor by Officer Mike's bed. The alarm rings. Officer Mike reaches down to pet his dog, Arrow. Arrow is a police dog, also known as a canine officer. When Officer Mike puts on his uniform with a silver badge on his chest, Arrow jumps up, ready to have his wide black leather collar with a police badge on it slipped over his head. He knows this will be a work day. Work and play. So work and play here is called the heading of this specific page. So we know that this is going to be about Arrow's work and play. Officer Mike and Arrow are partners. They work together, they practice together, they play together. Arrow, with his powerful nose, can do many things Officer Mike cannot. He can sniff and find lost children. He can sniff and find lost things. Police dogs are very strong and well-trained. They have to be ready to go anywhere they are needed. They can be very fierce when they are helping to catch criminals. They can run faster than any human being. But when police dogs are not working, they are gentle pets that like to have their tummies scratched. Arrow's most important jobs are to help, help and protect his, office, her, his partner, Officer Mike. Together, together, Arrow and Officer Mike patrol in all kinds of weather. Some weeks they patrol from early morning until dinner time. Some weeks they sleep in the daytime and work all night. On duty. Arrow is always eager to jump into the back of the police car. Officer Mike's car is different from other police cars. There is no back seat. The floor is flat and covered with carpet for Arrow to lie on. There is a water bowl built into the floor and a small fan keeps Arrow cool in the summer. Screens cover the windows so no one can reach in and pet him. When Arrow is on duty, he is not allowed to play. Officer Mike sits in the driver's seat, but Arrow will not let anyone else sit in the front until Officer Mike tells Arrow it is okay. Arrow knows that one of his jobs is to protect the police car. When Officer Mike leaves the car, he either opens the front window for Arrow to jump through or uses a remote control to open the back door when he needs Arrow's help. Time for a break. When Arrow and Officer Mike have been in the police car for a few hours, Arrow will need to take a break. Arrow pushes his head against his partner's head to let him know. Officer Mike parks the cruiser as soon as he can, as he can and says to Arrow, Go be a dog! Arrow knows he'll have time to explore a little and maybe chase a tennis ball while they are stopped. Signals and Commands Officer Mike can talk to Arrow in different ways. One way is to use his hand and arm signals. When Mike's hand is outstretched, it means stay. When Mike's arm is raised, it means sit. When his hand is flat, it means down. Arrow is, is very loyal to Officer Mike and wants to obey him. He likes to hear the words, good dog, and he tries to please his partner all the time. Arrow can understand short commands like find him or stop him and no barking. Arrow can also understand some commands in Czech, the language spoken where he was born and where he began his training as a police dog. So this page here really shows us that Arrow 
is a very, very smart and bright dog. He can understand lots of different commands in different ways. So Officer Mike can do different motions with his arm and Arrow can understand. And he can also say different things like find him or stop him to, um, to help Air Officer Mike communicate with Arrow to tell him what he needs to do. So police dogs are very, very smart dogs and they have to go through a really a lot of training to be police dogs. And here's the part about training. So K-9 training. Arrow's training never ends. Several times a month, Arrow and Officer Mike train with other officers and their K-9 partners. One exercise the police dogs do is to run through an obstacle course. The dogs practice getting over, under, around, and through difficult, difficult spots. Why do you think that's important for them to run around trying to get over and under and through difficult obstacles? Hmm, think about why that might be important. Arrow had to learn how to walk up and down steep open stairs. He also had to learn to walk over a large open grating, the kind you often see on city streets. So this is like a grating. I bet you've probably seen that around sometimes on the street. At first, he spread his paws to help him balance. His legs began to quiver and he whined a frightened cry. He had to practice over and over. Officer Mike kept saying, good boy, you can do it. Arrow was brave and trusted his partner, but he still does not like open gratings or steep stairs. So it's really important for canine dogs to be able to do all of these things that we just read on this page. So that way when they're looking for a missing person or when they're trying to sniff down a criminal, they might have to go through these things. They might have to go through obstacles and go up these steep kind of stairs. So it's really important that these dogs are trained to be able to do those things without being afraid. Arrow's sense of smell. Canines have a very, very powerful noses. Hundreds of times more powerful than human noses. That is why one of Arrow's most helpful talents on the police force is his ability to find things by smell. When children play hide and seek, they may think they're well hidden. Their dog can find them right away. The same is true when a child is lost or wanders away from home. Arrow can find the child by using his sense of smell. Each person has a scent that is different from everyone else's scent. Even twins do not smell the same. A person's unique smell comes from the food he or she eats, the soap or, and shampoo he or she uses, and clothes he or she wears, and the place where he or she lives. At the vets, Arrow goes to Dr. Morse, a veterinarian, for regular checkups. Arrow must lie still on a table while the doctor examines him. Once Arrow had a small infection on his neck, Dr. Morse gave him some medicine so he would get better. Because a police dog works so hard and has such an important job, he needs to be healthy. At the end of the checkup, Dr. Morse lifts Arrow to the floor and pets him and says, good dog. So Arrow has to go for police checks, or not police checks, to um, a veterinarian to get checked on quite often. Visiting in the community. Nurses and teachers often write to the chief of police to ask if Arrow can visit children in their hospital or school. Arrow likes children and is always gentle with them. He is even gentler when visiting a sick child. He lies down, staying very still and quiet so the, so the child won't be afraid of him. When Officer Mike and Arrow visit schools, Arrow rests on the floor besides officer, beside Officer Mike. Together, they demonstrate the different commands Arrow will obey. The children ask many questions. Why is there a police badge on Arrow's collar? How high can Arrow jump? How fast can Arrow run? Officer Mike carefully answers the questions. Arrow's badge shows everyone that he is working police dog. He can jump over an eight foot wall when he is chasing a criminal. He can run very fast about 40 miles an hour. Even the fastest person can only run about 24 miles an hour. So Arrow can go as fast as a car can go some, sometimes. So 40 miles an hour is as fast as you go on, the, on a road most of the time. So Arrow can run extremely fast. 
Petting Arrow. Children often want to pet Arrow. Officer Mike tells them the rules. Never try to pet a strange dog until you ask permission from the owner. Never come up behind Arrow. He might get frightened and snap at you. Never hug a canine around the neck. Walk up to a police dog slowly from the front so he can see you. Let him sniff your hand, pet his head and ears gently. Talk to him softly. So whenever you want to pet a dog that you don't know, you should always do these things, even if it's not a canine dog. Back at the station. At the end of the 12 hour work shift, there is always a final job to be done at the police station. After talking with his friends on the force, Officer Mike sits down and writes a report for the chief of police about the whole day or night. Arrow lies down by Officer Mike's chair. Follow off fellow officers. After the report is written, Officer Mike and Arrow go home together. When Officer Mike goes to bed, Arrow will plop down on the floor near the bed. He lays his head on his paws with a, and with a sigh goes to sleep near his best friend. Neither of them knows what know what surprises tomorrow's patrol will bring, but they are well prepared. They both love being police officers. All right. So that is the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed this story today. I know this is one of my favorite journey stories of the whole year, just because I love learning about dogs and different kind of service dogs. So this kind of service dog we read about today was a police canine service dog. And these are different from dogs like Noel and Grogan that come into Millican sometimes because those are therapy dogs and those help children just feel a little bit more calm and kids like to read to those dogs but police dogs help police find criminals and help protect um other you know they they help protect kids by finding kids who might be missing so police dogs are really important in our community and um, it's very important that humans and dogs work together because they can help keep everything safe so next time you see a police dog um, you may think of this story and you could maybe ask to pet that dog if you um, ask the police officer nicely. So we will be working with this story throughout the whole week. And if you ever want to listen to this story again, you can do that. So I will talk to you guys later. Goodbye.